So on this journey, you found yourself with an overwhelming and very real sense of loneliness. Yeah. A sense of you truly needing to take time and space to reckon with where you were. Mm -hmm. And what I love about that moment is how you got revelation and God showed up to kind of give you some in the face clarity about what was going on in, in that moment he said that you're the common denominator which i think is so huge and and before we add to it i want to just take a journey and unpack what you said yeah. when he said you're the common denominator you were challenged in that moment to do a self-reflection about you and what you brought to these relationships. Mm -hmm. So help us understand a little bit, you know, about that self-reflection journey and how difficult was that for you to go deep inward to see the things that you saw? Oh, yeah, it was, it was really hard, honestly. Like it was some of the hardest work that I had to do. Mm -hmm. And in the moment when I was actually doing it, I had to decide like every single day I had to make the decision that this is the hard that I'm going to choose. Mm -hmm. Like either I'm going to choose the hard of like getting through this and working through this and really getting on the other side, mm -hmm. or I'm going to choose the hard of continuing to have these like failed relationships. Mm -hmm. So when I did like some self discovery, and when I was actually just like taking a deep dive into how my father loss affected me, mm -hmm. I understood that fear was really the driving force behind everything that I was doing. Mm -hmm. Everything that I did was because I was either afraid of being rejected, afraid of being abandoned, afraid of somebody telling me that I wasn't good enough. Um, being found out if I didn't know something, you know, afraid of letting people know that I needed help in certain areas, all of these things. And so the way I always showed up was as, um, you know, definitely removed in that I did not bring my authentic self to any relationship that I was in. I always gave you a little bit enough for you to, to be able to say that you knew me, but not enough for you to be able to like, you know, touch the parts of me that were really vulnerable and, and really um, sensitive. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of what I did was to just create an atmosphere of like doing everything for the person that I was in a relationship with. And if I created the space where they needed me for everything, I knew that they wouldn't leave me. But what that was doing was really, it was me just saying to myself that my needs and my desires didn't matter at all. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to ignore myself and abandon myself really in service to this person, because this is the only way that I felt that I was going to, to show that I was valuable enough mm -hmm. to be loved in the way that I had always wanted to be loved by my dad. Wow. And so it was just, you know, like understanding that was really kind of the the start of where I was able to to work through that, but then also like pivot to understand that my needs and my desires need to be prioritized just as much as someone else's does. Mm -hmm. And how is that going to look going forward for me? Because yeah. it was new. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's huge. Um you know, one of the things that I say in the journey of finding and emerging as your successful year is that you have to shake off fear. Mm -hmm. And what you talked about is exactly how I like to describe it as being false evidence appearing real. Mm -hmm. You had all of these different things that you were so fearful of that made you create this protective layer where you would kind of show up almost like a chameleon of what you needed to be in each of those circumstances. And none yeah. of those things were completely you, right? And so when you exactly. did emerge, it wasn't anything close to what you were putting on. And that's when the fractures start in the relationship because you start to see, well, that's not really me. And that's not really what I think. And that's not really what I want out of this relationship. Mm -hmm. And when you bring yourself forward, that's when it starts to fall apart. I love that. Oh,